hello students we will see next bit velocity and direction of motion of a projectile at a given height above the point of projection okay it is at a given height it is different from the earlier one it was at different time t was there here h okay see the figure a particle is projected from this point O with initial velocity u making an angle alpha. Okay. <clears throat> During travel, the particle reaches point P. Okay. This P is at height of h meters from the horizontal and at P its velocity is V making an angle theta with the horizontal. Okay. So consider a particle projected from O, let U be the initial velocity, let alpha be the angle of projection. Next, after reaching height H, particle is at point P, let V be the velocity of the projectile at point P, let theta be the angle made by V with horizontal. Okay, now vertical component of velocity at point O or this beginning point O okay u sin alpha ui is equals to u sin alpha because alpha is the angle of projection you know vy vertical component of velocity at point P it will be v sin theta we know this next so vy square minus uy square okay if we did this what we will get v square minus u square is equals to 2as or here in this case instead of a we use minus g and instead of yes we can use h okay so vy square minus uy square vy square is the final velocity at point p in upward direction u y is the initial velocity at point o in upward direction right so final velocity square minus initial velocity square is equals to 2 into a into s v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s this formula is being used here now the notations are v y square minus u y square is equals to minus 2 g h so put put the values v y square v square sine square theta minus u square sine square alpha is equals to minus 2 g h okay rearranging the terms v square sine square theta is equals to u square sine square alpha minus 2 gh okay now v sine theta is square root of u square sine square alpha minus 2 gh okay so label this as equation number two next also horizontal component of velocity u cos alpha u cos alpha here is equals to v cos theta yes we are familiar with this now so turn this as equation number three now squaring and adding one and three let us see what we get v square sine square theta okay so this is v square sine square theta huh? plus v square cos square theta so this is v square cos square theta yes this is v square cos square theta okay so what we get u square sine square alpha minus 2 gh as it is plus this is u square cos square alpha hmm? any doubt so we know sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 so v square is equals to now again this u square sine square alpha plus u square cos square alpha okay so it is just u square v square is equals to u square minus this 2 gh so v is equals to square root of u square minus 2 gh next the angle when the project